As an English teacher, an uh, English department head teacher, how do you use English in your daily life? Well, I want to consider English as my first language, though in reality, it's just my second language. But I have loved the language since I was a child. And so this uh, gave me the inspiration to really broaden my understanding and comprehension of course my fluency and my grammatical skills and competencies in using the English language because I believe though we are Filipinos we can really prove that uh, we can really mingle and interact with uh, more people in the Philippines and in the entire world if we use the English language because English language is you know the international language Well, it's only when they are competing in uh, journalism, it's only during press conferences that I can hear SPJ students using the language. I wish they could use the language more often so they have the you know, competency then to develop more competency in speaking. However, if uh, this is uh, a problem to them, so I think they have to expose themselves more on mass media, television, even movies, even songs, and poems, you know, and the first speakers of the native language, of the English language, so they can have the, they can acquire the skills, you know, the styles of the Greeks proper intonation and uh, proper diction and pronunciation of words because it's only by loving the language that they really have the passion in using the language. The more you use the language, the more confident you will be. So use the language more often because uh, language, specifically English language is for here to stay and since you are SPJ, you should be adept. You should be an expert. Though you're still young, but when will you start? Just start using the language now. And someday when you grow old, you can really benefit from it. You can become globally competitive. You will have more opportunities, not only in our country, but outside the Philippines, if you will really love English language. Um, actually, 
they always speak English. Always. Why? They because they are told to to do so. And one more thing, English is the medium of instruction in the subject. Well, so I've said English language is really our international language and this language will give you more opportunities as far as uh, work uh, is concerned but your horizon will be better if you will prove to yourself that you can really comprehend the language you have the fluency and competence in using the language so you will not just be more successful here in the Philippines and you more opportunities outside the country as so you can see English is a national language and this is the language understood by all people so far. I have told you people because this means that the different races in this national language. However, speaking the language doesn't necessarily mean that you will become less successful. The language plus your competence or your skills, your attitudes and values will make you successful. So I encourage you to use the language, specifically the English language, since this is a financial language, you have potentials and you have to actualize these potentials into the qualities and the skills, have the values and the attitudes and this will make you better speakers and more successful in your future endeavors. So start using the language now because the English language is for you to speak. So this is our medium of instruction and this is our international language. Use it. It won't harm you. If you use it more often, more competent, the more confident you will be in this other language. Just enjoy it. Special sounds. So use the language anywhere you will be. At home, in school, chatting with your friends, chatting with your classmates. Use the language in various uh, situations. Your daily activities. Use the language. You will benefit from it. Thank you for that. We interviewed one of the head teachers in Tarlac National High School uh, regarding about the universal language, which is English. Now we are heading to NHS library to search or to know the brief history of. We did think of that English derived from the Indo-German. So now we're going to interview some students to know if their English vocabulary is great. Ano English ng pagkakilanlan? Ano English ng pagkakilanlan? Ano English ng pagkakilanlan? English na o pagkakakilan na? Pagkakakilan na? English na o pagkakakilan na? Ano yun? Ano English na o pagkakakilan na? Based on our recent activity, one out of six students passed the test. It shows that not all Filipinos have a good vocabulary. Yeah.